Welcome to How to Say No Without Killing the Attraction. I'm Dawn Bennett. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to create strong boundaries, how to know what you want and you need in certain rela in your relationship, in your upcoming relationship, and also how to hold tight to your boundaries and your needs without losing the attraction. Let's first run the show reel. Okay, so you're going on a date, right? And you know, hopefully you know exactly how fast you want to move or don't want to move. If you don't, actually this is a really good time to get clarity. What do you need? First of all, what do you need in order to feel like you want to move to the next level with this person? Whether that be inviting them back to your house, whether that be making out, whether that be actually engaging in certain types of physical intimacy or sexuality. What do you want and need before you'll go there? It's really important to know. I mean, if you don't know that, how are you going to communicate that? So that's step one. Know what you want, what you need, and how to communicate what you do want and need. So imagine this. You're together, you're on a date, and you know that the person wants to take it the next step. How do you say no without killing the attraction? This concept works beyond male-female energy. Even though I'm gonna use some male-female pronouns in order to make it more ease, this is really about getting what you want, getting clarity, opening up communication right at the beginning of the relationship. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And that includes the person that you're dating as well. So when you know what you're gonna ask for, and you say, no, I don't wanna go any further, will that person listen to and respect because however they treat you now, is how they're gonna treat you and how they're gonna to listen to your wants and your needs and your desires for the rest of your time together. Does that make sense? So overall, it's about getting yourself set up for respect, getting the type of communication and the treatment that you want set right at the beginning of the relationship. And it's almost like a test to this other person. If you say, no, I'm not ready for that yet, or no, I'm not into that today, maybe later, or you can say something like, are you man enough to wait? Right, so you can play with it. And if they can't respect that and they keep pushing you, this is what's gonna happen for the rest of your lives together, is that you're gonna say that you want or don't want something and they're gonna keep pushing you. So it's like a test to them. But it can, you can also use it to build anticipation. Come up, you can come up with alternate things, things that maybe you are willing to do. Maybe you're willing to talk about it, plan it, explore it. Because let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a friend or a family member do something a little bit sooner than they want in a relationship or not ask for what they want, right? Or maybe, and so they gave in, maybe they gave in about money or about finances or about where they wanted to eat or something so simple as like, I don't like blue cheese on my salads, but someone gave me blue cheese and I just ate it because I was being nice, but now, I can't tell them that I don't like blue cheese and they're putting it on my salads for the rest of my life, right? Or they've said yes when they really meant no and they've lost that person anyway because the respect actually wasn't there. So have you ever seen somebody break up over something down the road when really they knew that it wasn't right for them in the first place? Or that weren't, they weren't getting treated the way they wanted and they assumed that person would eventually start treating them well and it just never happened? Have you ever seen that in a relationship? That's why it's so important to take a stand for what you want right now. So write down, what are you willing to do? What do you want to do? What do you need to know that this is within your comfort zone? And not only in your comfort zone, but in what you desire, in what satisfies you, nourishes you, makes you feel connected, and test that person in a positive way around how they're gonna listen to you and communicate their wants and needs back in response to your wants and needs. And remember that you are teaching them how you want to be treated. How you want to be communicated with. So as you start playfully engaging, right? You, you can do a hard no. You can do no. This is not what I want. This is what I want instead. Right? You don't have to give an excuse. You don't have to give your why. You can just say no, right? No means no. But you can also be playful with it. Offer up some alternatives. I'm not willing to do that, but I'm willing to do this. I'm not ready to share that part of my life with you yet, 
But what I am willing to share with you is this, right? So you can actually say yes to the person, even though you're saying no to a specific request, right? Does that make sense? So if you got even a little bit of value, I hope you subscribe, watch some other videos. I'm gonna talk a little bit more. People I know often want to hear more about different types of intimacy, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual intimacy. So we'll talk about those in other videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Dawn and just remember that you're teaching them how you wanna be treated. So you can say no without killing the attraction. See you next time.